So the other option, and all this is is part of a full launch. So think about the um, horizontal launch is like from the top of your parabola down. So this is cut off the first quarter of your parabola. And that would be like projecting it, you're only going to get that portion of the parabola. So I'll draw a little dotty dot dot to represent the trajectory in it goes and crashes into the ground boom <clears throat> now the deal is it takes off and it goes past the equal point so if it took off with a speed of v naught at an angle of theta above the horizontal when it reaches the equal height so right over here when it reaches equal height how fast is it going v naught and it's going at an angle of the theta below the incline. Okay. So there's theta, and that would be the same as V naught. Now, what's it going to do? It's going to continue to speed up. So when it hits the ground, it's actually going to be going. It'll actually be going faster. It'll be going faster than it was um, initially. Okay. And that's good if you want to blow up, you know, a ship down here or something, and you're a, a pirate, and you want to, there you go. Okay, so, um, bombs away. And, there's your cannon. Just kidding. All right, now, um, is the initial velocity in the y direction positive, negative, or zero? the initial velocity in the y direction it is positive it was going up to begin with okay now when it hits the ground it has turned around it stops and turns around and comes back and what if instead of launching this thing above the horizontal what if instead um, I project it below the horizontal same initial velocity so instead of throwing it um, at 20 meters per second, 45 degrees above the horizontal. Right, Alex? 20 meters per second at 45 degrees below the horizontal. What's different? So this would be a positive initial velocity in the y direction. When we go down, we have a negative initial velocity in the y direction. Now, is there any difference between this velocity and this velocity? No. No. So, question. Here's the trajectory when it's launched below the horizontal. We can throw things down. I'm sure you've gotten mad and thrown something down. You probably didn't throw it straight down. You probably threw it at an angle. So when it hits the ground, and this is the ugliest drawing of all time, so I'm going to try to do better. Okay, that looks a little bit better, and I'll put hitting the ground right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you, what do you think about the velocity we strike the ground with when we throw it below the horizontal and the velocity it strikes the ground with when we throw it above the horizontal? They're the same. What's different about these two? two projectiles. Projectile one that goes up and comes back down versus projectile two that just gets thrown down. Time is different and then what else is different? The Yeah, you'd stand in two different places if you wanted to catch it, right? But these two final velocities, these two VRs are exactly the same as would the final theta, this green theta that I've labeled it up here. Okay? And that's because this piece of the parabola matches that piece of the parabola. 